Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, sharing with you today the scriptures that relate to the Feast of the Epiphany. The Epiphany, what does that mean? It means a manifestation, an appearance. It becomes apparent. Suddenly it's like, you get it. God is trying to communicate something to us and that is his love. And it's not just for a small select group of people. It's for the whole world. And in the reading this week, we see in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 2, the visitation of the wise men, or as some people call them, the Magi from the East. It says, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the East came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? The reading from Isaiah today says that the nations will come to the light of the Lord. And you know what's interesting is that when the light of the Lord shines, wherever it is, in your home or your neighborhood, your state or your, your nation, eventually people start hearing about it and they come from all around to see what, what is going on. We experienced this not too long ago when the Holy Father, Pope Francis, came to the United States and visited Washington and New York and Philadelphia. The Pope showed up with the good news. He showed up with the light of Christ and the television and radio networks and newspapers from around the world converged to find out what is going on. And that's what we see here in the Gospel of Matthew is people coming from a long distance away to see what is happening. I was intrigued by the papal visit and it got me thinking about how God reveals himself and how a modern day epiphany can take place. Oftentimes people, they will look at Pope Francis and wonder, what is he talking about? What is he doing? And his role is one of showing us Jesus. And so now we have a Pope that comes into Washington and New York and Philadelphia in front of the press. And he doesn't give an elaborate speech, but what does he do? He gets out of the car and he goes to a young boy in a wheelchair and he kisses that boy. He shows us the love of God. And people from all over the world came to hear what he had to say and to see what he would do. And I would suggest to you that an epiphany took place. Eyes were opened as people saw the mercy of God and the love of God. That happened as a result of his actions. I want to encourage you today that God can speak through you in your actions and people can see the light of Christ, just like Isaiah predicted people that we wouldn't normally think were a part of the narrative, like the Magi's. God is revealing himself still today, but he might not be revealing himself in ways that you thought possible or you saw coming. It happened with the Holy Father's visit to the United States. It happened 2,000 years ago. Perhaps people will see the light of Christ in your life.